birds make many different sounds. They chirp, whistle, trill, caw, rattle, drum, and much, much more. Vocally, they are in a class of their own. But how do birds make these sounds? Birds have the most complicated respiratory system amongst vertebrates. It is a more efficient system than in mammals. They have thin-walled air sacs that are connected to the lungs. These air sacs are not directly involved in gas exchange, but act as a bellows that direct the flow of air through the lungs in one direction, from back to front. The genius of the air sacs is that they allow a continuous unidirectional flow of air during both inhalation and exhalation. Because of this specially equipped respiratory system, birds are able to sing at surprisingly high volumes, sometimes for minutes without interruption. In humans, the vocal cords are located in the larynx, at the junction of the trachea and esophagus. In birds, on the other hand, the sound-producing organ with which they produce their diverse songs and calls is the syrinx, or vocal head. It's located much lower in the thoracic cavity than the larynx, namely at the junction of the main bronchi and thus at the entrance to the lungs. The vocal head is equipped with four elastic membranes. These can be stretched like vocal cords by a singing muscle apparatus. In songbirds, as many as seven to nine tiny pairs of muscles ensure that the membranes are tightened to varying degrees. In other bird groups, there are sometimes only two pair. Single tones are often modulated in an extraordinarily rapid succession. Up to 200 pitch changes per second are known. These rapid pitch changes can be explained by the physiology of the syrinx muscles. It's also interesting that the syrinx halves can work independently of each other making two voiced vocalizations possible. Some birds can sing while inhaling and exhaling, but most sing, as we humans do, while exhaling.